Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you the strongest deck for the Power Shift Seasonal Mode. This deck I had previously used to go on a 100 game unbeaten streak. It was actually closer to like 114, I think, before I um, ran out of time in the Seasonal. But uh, I played 114 games, uh, lost 0, won 113 of them, and tied 1. So uh, currently, I am on a 40-ish win streak with this deck. So I haven't lost yet this Seasonal. And uh, I'll probably get to over a 100 win streak with this deck. Um, I haven't had any close games. Um, they were all very lopsided. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and show you how this deck works. So looks like we're up against um, a monster deck. Okay. Uh, you know, this is a good hand. I'm satisfied with this. Okay, let's see what he does. Usually if you run Carapace... Uh, you have a Keltala stack, but we'll see. Jurgen? Hmm. Well, Jurgen is actually pretty bad for this seasonal mode, just because uh, it gets nerfed. The uh, base power of Jurgen is actually 15. So because it has a provision cost of 10, it loses 5 base power, which uh, is pretty bad. Okay, so uh, it looks like this is just like a random deck. Um, it, I mean, I, I can just kill this flutter right now, but he can't even inflict bleeding. Uh, sure, let's kill this guy. We're probably going to 2-0 him. This deck has a 100% win rate, and uh, like the 2-0 rate on this deck is like 80%, maybe a little bit higher than 80%. So... Uh, in most games, not only are you going to win, you're going to win 2-0. Okay, so let's go ahead and 2-0 this guy. Okay, he gave up. Okay, we finished the, uh, the bonus keys for... Alzer, let me go ahead and switch real quick. Journey list. Switch to Dandelion. I've already cleared Yennefer, Triss, or er, Atuza, Regis today for the bonus keys. Okay. I was thinking of making like a different deck for Power Shift, but why would I play anything other than the best? You know, why would I play a weaker deck? This deck, uh, has not lost in like over 150 games, dating back from last seasonal. So this is incredibly powerful. I don't think there's a stronger deck than this. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. We don't want Maddox in hand. Uh, this is pretty good. We want a Reaver in hand, though. Okay, so we didn't draw a Reaver, which is okay. Um, and we don't have a way to get a Reaver except for maybe this, but this is only base power, too. So, uh, not a good starting hand, but, um, we'll make do. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's play this dude. Okay, so he gets locked, which is okay. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Okay, uh, we are just going to throw round one, because we don't have a reaver. So let's go ahead and play our Siege Ladder, like our most uh, disposable card. And once he drops down to six cards, we'll just pass.
Okay, let's go ahead and pass. Like, I've won games where I haven't drawn a reaver or a way to get a reaver until round three. This deck uh, can make do. There we go. We got our reaver. Let's put away this reaver scout. Reaver scout is probably the worst card in the deck, actually, because, like, he can only spawn base power two reavers. Okay, uh, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with this hand. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it. Okay. I'm going to play Reaver Hunters and see if he gets locked. If he doesn't get locked, that means this guy is probably just going to throw round two and play for a long round three. If he does get locked, then that means he's he could commit to round two. Okay. It doesn't matter if a Reaver gets locked because we have teleportations. And if they get destroyed, uh, we have casting contest. Okay, so he locks one. That's good. It means he probably will not pass at seven cards. <coughs> okay, let's buff this guy and spawn another reaver. Oh, he gave up. Okay, good game. All right, let's play again. Earlier today, I played a deck. It had like, man, at least like eight locks. And he also played Circuit which was like uh, the guy that locks all copies of card if you have Aukis in your hand. So, um, but I still won that. And uh, so this deck is super resilient, uh, incredibly hard to beat. I've also played against a bunch of other Reaver decks. Um, not as good as this one because they all lost to me. Uh, but this is like the optimized version of the Reaver's deck for power shift. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put back Dwim, the Shackles, and uh, I don't know. We don't really need Red Haze right now. Okay, great. We got a copy of Reavers. Even if we didn't, we have Curse Scroll to grab a copy of Reavers. Now, when you play Reavers going first, you always want to play him on the left Curse Scroll before you use the ability and uh, his order. That way, the Curse Scroll is separating the two Reavers, so um, your 5-power Reaver doesn't get Red Haze. Okay, so this guy gave up. Okay. This is like super fast wins. Alright. I've been playing Gwent for less than a year, and I just recently reached Prestige 7. It's because my win rate is super high. It's like... Like, overall, I would say my win rate is around, like, 85%. That's why I've been prestiging so fast and uh, getting so much EXP. All right. We're up against Nilfgaard. Okay, the card that you don't want in hand is Madoc, because he uh, summons himself from the deck. Okay, so this is a really good hand, actually. I think I remember this username. Uh, Fawazi SH. I think he's a pretty good player. We'll see.
Okay. I'm going to play my Reaver Hunter that just got passed by Sunset Wanderers. That way, uh, this guy can stall one more turn in your hand. Typically, you want to play cards to the left of Sunset Wanderers, so he can stall in your hand as long as possible. Okay. We'll keep our Tor uh, Iterin in hand for now. Because he only uh, spawns one power copies, and they could just get bled to death basically right away. All right, let's use Casting Contest. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I misclicked. Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad, because um, I needed this for a another round. I meant to click Casting Contest. Ah. It'd be really too bad if my streak broke because of that misclick. But now I'm I'm not scared of any any death. I think uh, I can still win this one. Hmm. Okay. He's gonna spawn another Fangs of the Empire next turn. In that case. Uh, maybe I will have to use Iterate this round. Let me think. I'm kind of in a tight spot. That was a really big misplay. Dang. Well, at least, uh, I'm more excited now. Because, like, they're, all these wins, they were really too easy. So, this will be more fun, at least. Ah, uh, thank you. That was actually good for me. Because of uh, Garrison. Okay. Let's go ahead and duplicate. Okay. Let's go ahead and play Garrison. We'll spawn this dude right there. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's. He is what, forty-four points ahead. It's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't think he has another poison unit. Uh, don't really want to boost that guy. Let's do this. Okay, spawn a couple more, and this time we'll use. Garrison, so uh, these reavers don't bleed to death, and then we can. I think I can move this guy down. Uh, should I do that? No, I think I'm gonna grab a Dwim. Let's go ahead and grab Dwim Beandra to reset this. Okay. I think next turn I'm going to blow his two thirsty dames out of here. Hmm. Should I duplicate again? This will spawn two more. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And then use this. Let me check his row is above 40. Yeah, it is. So Igni will swing for 40. Great. Took out his two thirsty dames. And, uh,. We are pretty comfortably ahead. He doesn't really have an engine now because his two thirsty dames are gone.
Okay. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I'm just going to pass right now anyway. I have a full board. Nice, he's playing some good cards. Okay, so we are two cards ahead and we still have our Sunset Wanderers. Nice. We would have totally won round one if I didn't misplay that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Okay, uh, I mean, this is not too bad. Um, see, I can't play my Reavers. I can't play Reaver Hunters this round. This guy I can't play because I used up my <laughs> Necromancy when I threw it out. Uh, so I need to save this dude for round three. Hmm. Let's go ahead and move back Teleportation. And Demeridium Shackles. Okay, uh, he should have really pushed me this round. Yeah, he should have pushed me. Otherwise, uh, like if he pushed me and I was forced to play this, I have to win round three without um, without Reaver Hunters. Okay, but he did not push me, so we will just win round two and then round three. Okay. Uh, does Nilfgaard have any guy I want to lock? Yeah. Philippe Van Morlehem. That's the only guy that I uh, would prefer to lock. So just in case he has him, I'll uh, keep their Meridian Shackles. Okay. Okay, I go first. Let's go ahead and play Bohol. Okay. I think he's going to lock this guy, but I mean, I have Oniromancy for my L. Okay. It was slightly unlucky that uh, this dude got spawned in the uh, melee row. It will be short of Reaver, but uh, oh well. Aha! I suspected he might have the lead. But uh, this, this defender is in the way, so we can't really do anything about that. Okay, uh, it's okay. I'm pretty sure we should still be able to win. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh... On a base copy, I'll, I'll keep this for now. Mm, two Philippe's, that's going to be kind of annoying. Okay, well, before he locks this guy, I uh, should probably use his order. Okay, let's duplicate this dude. And then spawn a base copy of an allied soldier on its row. Hmm, do I really want to spawn copy when I can max out with stronger reavers? No, I don't think I will. Okay.
Okay, let's max out our row. Hmm. I have a feeling he will probably kill uh, Sunset Wanderers eventually. So, I'm going to use Demeridian Bomb later when this guy gets low enough. Let's go ahead and use Oniromancy for reset and allied units power replayed instead. Okay, I could replay this dude down in my range drill. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, grab teleportation. Move this dude down here. Okay, uh, that's fine. This guy can grab a bronze unit, but oh, we do have a pretty big bronze unit. Hmm. Maybe I should damage myself. No, that's kind of dumb. Okay, uh, let's lock this guy then so he doesn't steal our 18 power Reaver Hunter. Okay, next turn I'm just going to kill his defender. All right, good comeback, dude. This guy is making a comeback. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, oops, I forgot to duplicate this guy. Oh, well. Next turn, I'm going to kill one of his Philippe's. All right, this guy's kind of bringing it back. All right, let's see what his last card is. Oh, it's just a lock. Okay. Well, uh, good game, dude. I'm just going to duplicate just in case something weird happens. Let's kill this guy. <clears throat> okay. So we managed to win, even though I uh, misclicked in round one and threw away my, uh, what's it called? My necromancy. Okay. Well, that was a big blender. Okay, let's do one more game for this video. He was a good player. I think maybe if he um, if he pushed me a bit in round two and made me use that Reaver Hunter that I had in hand, he could have had a chance to win. Uh, but I don't know. Then he couldn't have had his uh, really good setup for round three either. So hard to tell. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're up against movement, which, um, I mean... In theory, should be a good counter to Reavers, but this deck is just so strong, it doesn't really matter if he moves us around. Uh, let's put away Red Haze. Don't really need that. Okay, we go first. Reaver on the left. Duplicate this guy. Okay, this time, huh, I'm not going to misclick. Okay. Okay, so he moves us as expected. Let's go ahead and 
do this. I'm guessing he's going to move us again. Yeah, that's fine. It really helps us because we have Garrison. Okay, we also have this dude. Let's play teleportation, move this guy back up. I wonder if he'll use his last leader ability to like move my five power reaver down. Oh, he did. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to use this before I forget. Let's grab a Neuromancy and put back this uh, Demeridium Shackles. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this dude. Play him right here. Move this guy back up. And uh, I want this guy on the bottom. Okay, so he can spawn two Dwims. Let's not spawn anymore. Not spawn anymore on the bottom. We don't want to row lock ourselves. Okay. So he's doing his movement thing. Okay. No, oh, he gave. Oh, well, no, never mind. I thought he gave up. Okay. Uh, I don't want to really use my Sunset Wanderers right now. Let's uh, see if we can close this out before we have to use this guy. Okay, uh, let's use Edwin. Oh, you know what? I just had a pretty good idea. Like, if we max out our board, this Sunset Wanderers, it won't be able to play itself. So then, um, oh, well, he gave up anyway. He, he like, passed anyway. Okay, so we get to keep our Sunset Wanderers. Okay, let's just 2-0 this guy. Okay, let's put back Madoc. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I like this hand. Okay, we didn't use any Necromancy last round. So we can use it in round three to pick up Necromancy. Okay. Poisons that guy, which is fine. Let's put this guy here so we can duplicate faster. This is the third time this guy lost connection. Okay. So he poisons a reaver, but it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, we didn't play a guy yet. Okay. Uh, let's play this guy. Okay, he gave it. Okay, so that is the deck. Let me show you the deck list. Okay, we are on around like a 50 win streak, give or take. I'll check in a bit. Okay, so here is the deck. Uh, so Inspired Zeal is the leader ability. It actually got buffed since the last time uh, the season load came around. Now it can also buff 
uh, it can also target non-neutral units. Uh, so, uh, or excuse me, you can now target neutral units. So in a pinch, if you need to buff like um, a neutral unit, you, you can. Before it couldn't do that. Okay, so it got a small buff. Uh, curse scroll for our stratagem. Uh, remember the stratagem, it's more than just the curse scroll, right? It's a separator, a divider, uh, when you use your Inspired Zeal Leader ability so that uh, your Reavers, they don't get Red Haze, right? So don't use this like turn one unless like for some reason you have to. Oniromancy for consistency, Sunset Waters is so strong, like starts at base 13 power in this format. And then um, if you can keep it in hand long enough, like in round two or round three, it's just like a 24, 25 point swing by itself. And you draw a card. This is so good. Uh, Boholt, Garrison, Madoc, Geralt Igni, Iterin, Necromancy, Voimir, two Reaver Hunters, Demeridium Shackles, two Casting Contests, two Dwims, one Reaver Scout. You don't really need this guy, uh, but there's not really a better five provision card. Okay. So I just put this guy in here. Demeridium Bomb, Mahakin Ma'ale, two Red Hazes, two Teleportations, two Siege Ladders. That is the deck. This is the strongest deck for the Power Shift Seasonal Mode. Um, I've used it uh, 150 wins in a row, and um, I don't think there's a better deck than this. So that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the next video.